Hello everyone, this is Alex from Almost Studio. And in today's video, I would like to share with you how can you utilize your CPU using HiveRTS. By utilizing your CPU, what do I mean? Well, if you are mining with your GPU, you can also mine with your CPU. It will not be much, of course, depending on your CPU. But uh, you can mine some Monero. From my point of view, it's not such a bad idea to utilize a CPU. Uh, especially when we have algorithms like random hash x that is designed to be mined by CPU and the performance of i7 processor from Intel is much more better than GTX 1070. From i7 I'm getting 2.8 kilohashes and from my 870 I'm getting like 500. Definitely worth trying to mine with your CPU. A second thing I would like to talk to you about, and this will be a pool you are using. Uh, I've been using Nana Pool for a while, but the problem with Nana Pool, you specify your wallet and you cannot change it. You are mining to this specific wallet, uh, your exchange can close, something can happen, maintenance or whatever, and by some reason you cannot use your wallet. Uh, for that reason, I'm using VABTC. What is VABTC? It's an old pool which allows you to create an account and all your money is saved to this account. And when you are ready, you can withdraw them to your address. Also, the withdraw minimum is lower than with other pools. Uh, I suggest you definitely try mining Monero to VABTC. I think you will love it. I will be leaving a link down below for HiveOS if you don't have it. It's free up to four weeks. And I'll be leaving a link for VABTC. If you are using this link, you are getting 50% of your commission from the pool. So don't miss it. Try it now. If you like it, love it. With that being said, let's go and utilize our CPU with our second miner using HiveOS, the best operation system on the market for mining. To set up a second miner, first of all, First of all, you will need to login to your HiveOS dashboard. Go to your farms and here is the new AMD farm that I've prepared for this video. Let's login there. You can see that at the moment I'm mining only Ethereum with my Radeon RX 5500XT. To utilize our CPU, we will need to go to Flight Sheet. In Flight Sheet, we will need to go to edit and we will need to add a second miner. In my case, it will be Monero. Uh, since we don't have a wallet, we will need to add a wallet. And this is the trickiest part. Since for VABTC, we are not using wallets, we are using account name. Go to pool. This is our mining dashboard. Here you can see your earnings, your hash rate, your workers. You can see that at the moment I have two workers of flight. At the bottom you can find a server which we are going to use for our miner. But as an address you are going to use your username. In my case this is my name here. I will go to the miner and set up it. The name of the world will be via BTC test XMR create. So we have created our wallet. You can see that HiveOS doesn't support VBTC as default. So we are going to select configure in miner. This allows us to configure our pool settings in miner. Okay, so to mine. XMR, you will need XMR stack or XMR ring. I prefer XMR ring. Set up your miner. And here you can see our template is wallet plus worker. Goes over here. Our pool URL is this one. Copy it. Paste. We don't have our password, 
to turn on our CPU only, you can also turn on your AMD or NVIDIA if you want to mine with graphics card. So this is basically all the settings we need. Let's apply the changes. Update. Create new flight sheet. And send it to our miner. You can see that the task is sent to our miner. You can see that we are ready to start mining our Exiver for our VABTC test wallet at a custom code. Let's refresh this page. You can see that the settings was applied and both of our miners is currently offline. Usually you will need to wait around like a few minutes uh, till the mining process will recover. Well, you can see that we have continued mining our Ethereum and now our CPU is mining at almost 300 hashes per second. It's not much, but this one is a RIG CPU. It's Intel Celeron, which is basically a basic model, and you cannot expect a huge hash rate from it. But from i5, r7, or i9, you will get a pretty nice result, or even better, a little bonus. Uh, try mining with AMD CPU. If you have an AMD CPU, for example, the basic AMD CPU, if we are talking about the Celeron level, the Celeron gives you 300 watts and AMD, the same price, at the same price range, will give you something around 800. So definitely, if you are mining Monero, try making your rigs with CPUs from AMD. Well, now I hope you are able to utilize your CPU power that is just sitting there in your rig. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, all updates about our crypto situation I'm posting on my Twitter and Facebook. So don't miss and follow them now. This was Alex from Album Studio. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Take care.